ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel now today i'm back with another the first descendant video and in today's video i just wanted to talk about something um that i've been seeing going around the community and um is quite a hot topic people are either fully fully like against it or people are fully for it um i sit in the middle to be honest because um you've probably seen the title um, so that's probably why a lot of you have clicked on the video and it's probably triggered a lot of you um, and maybe a lot of you uh, you know are like yes uh, I fully agree but um, anyway before we get into the hot topic I just want to say we are eight days away from the first descendant globally launching on console and PC as you can see we are on Steam, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X and S, and also Xbox One. No mobiles, just console and PC. It's a looter shooter, semi-open world, free to play, amazing Unreal Engine 5 game. I'm very hyped for the game. I've played all of the betas and yeah, I'm excited. Plenty of videos are gonna be coming to this channel. When, as soon as the game goes live, I can delve in. I can bring you guys and girls, you know, some guides on like build guides, some farming guides, stuff like that, weapons, and of course, um, go through and showcase you all of the descendants that you can play and um, yeah, stuff like that. So if you're interested in anything like that, like, share and subscribe. And also, this is the last little bit of a uh, little bit of a plug here. I am, as you can see here, sorry for the flashbang, um, I'm part of the uh, Nexon Creator Program for the First Descendant. I will pin this link in the comment section down below. If you can go ahead, if you're going to be playing in the game, just register your support for me. It doesn't cost you, um, it doesn't cost you anything. It's totally free and it does really, really help me out. I do want to show them that, you know, I have a, I have a community here of my own that does support me. So yeah, I would greatly appreciate it. But anyway, let's jump into the, into the topic. Um, and the topic for today's video is, uh, should the first descendant have pvp because for those of you that do not know the first ascendant is a fully pve based game um you can play this game solo uh, but obviously it's more fun to to go around the open world and do missions with people so you can do co-op as well with your with your friends you can join up as a team and play the game together but you can actually fully play this game solo if you so wish to do so but the gunplay, the movement, the abilities, the mechanics, everything about this game, um, in my opinion, would uh, would be fun for PvP. Now, the community, like I said, is kind of torn. There is a bunch of people like myself that would love to have PvP in this game because I am predominantly a PvP player in every game that I play. Does that mean that I hate PvE? No, it does not. I do a lot of, I'm a PvX player basically, but I do, um, if a game has PvP as well, I do generally lean more more to the PvP sides of the game. Um, obviously I do the PvE to, you know, to gear up in my, in my MMORPGs. I do the PvP where I need, to, uh, PV, sorry, PvE where I need to, to get, you know, said gear and said items. Um, do challenging raids and boss fights and stuff like that and dungeons and then I go to the PvP to have some fun against real players so I would love to, and of, of course I love shooting games as well FPS games uh, third person shooters like this um, and it's always fun um, to test your aim and your skill against you know other real human beings um, so I would love for this game to have PvP but I also do understand where the other players are, are, are fully against it because, you know, they say, why does this game need PvP? Why does every single game need PvP? And if you want a, a PvP shooter game, there's many of those out there. And yeah, you, you are right. You are correct. There are many, you know, first person shooters. There are many third person battle royales, for example. Um, there's your Valorants, there's your Counter-Strikes. Um, but the point is, none of them are like this. The closest that you will get to um, the First Ascendant as a PvP shooter would obviously be like, um, uh, you could say Apex Legends, which is which is for first person. It's a battle royale, but it has heroes. 
Um, and then you, of course, have Overwatch, which, again, is a first-person uh, shooter. But it's not the same. Um, so, yeah, it's one of those situations where the developers have actually confirmed, for, for the time being, there is no PvP planned um, in this game. Does that mean that there will never be any PvP? No, it doesn't mean that. But um, for, for the time being, at least for launch and maybe for just for the next six months or so, I do not see any PvP modes coming to this game. Again, like I said, that can, of course, change. Um, but yeah, PV, having PvP in the game does, of course, also then bring balance problems. Or I, I say balance problems, but it brings balance issues where... There might be items that are really overpowered for PvP, but not so you know overpowered in PvE. So then there lies the decision of the developers. Do they do they have to buff said weapon or said descendant for PvE? But then that makes them too strong for PvP. Now, what you can do is, which is obviously a lot more work, you can of course have separate skills. So you can have separate stuff for PvE. And then you can have separate stuff for the PvP. So that, of course, makes the developers have to do more work um, to try and keep it on a you know fair, equal level. You could then, of course, have like a team deathmatch mode. This is just examples, guys, yeah? You could then just have like a, a team deathmatch mode or a um, free-for-all mode in the first Ascendant where you could have equalized, equalized stats, equalized like gear. Um, I don't know how how easy that would be. I'm not a game developer, um, so I'm not sure how easy that would be to implement in this game. Um, but that that is one way where you could obviously keep it fair um, and balanced. Now, again, of course, people's people always say, okay, if the game has like mild pay to win, for example, they don't really care if there's only PVE. But of course, when there's PVP, when that comes into play then you know the the pay to win would be more of more of a concern um so yeah there is many sort of aspects and concerns and issues and you know little nitpicking things that you could say um so yeah this is uh i just wanted to do a little discussion something different for you guys and girls today because i've been thinking about this a lot myself personally as a as a more of a pvp player like i said earlier but yeah, what do you think? Just leave me a comment. I really want to know. I really would like to have a discussion in the comments between myself and you guys and of course between each other. But I just want to say, just keep the comments positive. I don't want to hear no childish comments and people arguing. Just, you know, you, you feel free to have a debate about PvE and PvP and why you think it should or shouldn't have it. But just keep it keep it positive keep it humble i want to build a i want to build a positive community i don't have time for all this rubbish like you know being hostile for no apparent reason if there's any rubbish comments any hostile comments i'll just delete them guys so keep it positive keep it hype for the game we are eight days away and yeah i hope you've enjoyed this one like share and subscribe and i'll catch you very very soon for some more first ascendant take care everybody see you soon peace